Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we're working on another makeover here at the lake house. You're joining me inside of our kitchen because we're gonna be transforming this space behind me. This is our dine-in kitchen eating space and I wanna turn it into a cozy, comfortable, gorgeous breakfast nook. Right now we just have a table and chairs and it's a pretty boring space. I haven't put any effort into it until now and I can't wait to turn it into a gorgeous addition to this kitchen. So if you're working on a breakfast nook, a dining room, or really any space around your home, I hope this video gives you some ideas that you can use in your home. Before we get started, I wanna give a huge thank you to Redecor for sponsoring today's video. If you are a design enthusiast like me or you're planning any makeover around your home, you need this game. It is so much fun. Redecor allows you to style photorealistic rooms and create unique designs all from your mobile device. You guys can even design my breakfast nook in the game. It's available on Android and iOS and you can download it for free using the link down below my description box. Every level of the game is a competition and every room you design is going to be judged by 10 other players. So your design is going to be ranked from 1 to 10 against 9 others and you're trying to create the best room possible. So it's really fun to play and try and win but I also like to use it to try and visualize what different color palettes would look like together and it kind of allows you just to have fun with design. I've only got first place once, but I do have some games where I ranked ninth, I ranked fourth, one time I completely lost, which is so sad, but Redecor is actually allowing you to design my breakfast nook in the game so you can share with me your design ideas. So download Redecor using the link down below my description box, screenshot the game and send me your best design. I'm gonna be sharing all of my favorites over on Instagram stories. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. If you enjoy watching today's makeover, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm Kristen, interior designer and home decor expert. I'm sharing all of my designer tips and tricks with you to help transform your house into the home of your dreams through DIY projects, affordable home decor, styling tips, and home organization. If I can do it, you can too. Let's make our homes look and feel their best. So we're going to be changing everything up in here, but not changing anything in the kitchen. So we're totally going to work with what we have and embrace it. Now, to be honest, I don't love the look of this kitchen. I don't love the finishes that were used, but instead of going in a completely different direction for the other side of the space, I'm going to embrace all of these different colors and textures and pull them over onto the other side of the space. If we just went in a complete different direction over here, it just would not balance out. And that's what I feel like this table is doing. It's not the right style. It's not the right color. It's not really helping balance out the space. So this table is definitely going to change. These chairs are absolutely staying. I love my wishbone chairs. We definitely need to just touch them up a little bit under there. These vertical shades are not my favorite. We're probably gonna be changing that up, softening out this wall and making that look really pretty. Right now we have this amazing view outside, pulling all the colors from outside, and this side just feels completely white and bare. So this wall definitely needs some details, some colors, so we can kind of balance out the colors from outside over here. We're also going to be grounding all the furniture, softening out some of these features, and just tying together this whole space. Now usually a breakfast nook is a little corner space, and this room doesn't really call for that, but I'm going to bring in all the features that I love about a breakfast nook. Bench seating, soft pillows, a round table, a rug, all the little details, and I think it's going to be amazing. All right, so now that the room's all cleared out, we can get painting. This back wall is going to anchor the space. It's gonna be the accent wall, the design feature of this entire space. And we're going with a color that we've actually worked with before. I'm gonna be creating a nice little accent wall using muted sage, but I'm dropping the color of it by 25%. So if you really love a color, you can play around with it to end up with kind of a unique color. You can drop your color really low to be dark, you can lighten it, or you could end up with something just a little slightly different than the paint chip. I think having this green up on this wall is totally going to balance out the greenery that you see outside and really make the space feel complete. I'm going to come about 64 inches up the wall and do a nice straight line all the way across. That's going to make this breakfast nook feel really cozy and intimate. So 
because these walls are textured, I'm gonna be using some all-purpose paintable caulking. Just press it down all the way across so that we end up with a perfectly straight line. If you don't have this kind of orange peel texture, this step isn't necessary, but if you do have some texture, I do recommend sealing it with some caulking. I've been looking everywhere for the perfect bench for this breakfast nook and I could potentially build one. I've never built a bench before so I just don't know how well that's gonna go. I'd rather get something that I can kind of customize to make into what I want. So of course Ikea is always the best place to look for stuff like that. I think I found the perfect solution actually in the kids section. They have this kids toy storage box bench and that's perfect. It's deep. It has this big drawer that rolls out. I can use that as extra storage. I can customize it. It can fit pillows and cushions on top. I just think it's totally perfect and exactly what I was looking for. So I'm going to head over there and pick up two of these storage benches. So one toy box is about 34 inches long and that just is way too short for this long wall. So I'm doubling it up and doing two toy boxes and then putting them together. So right now these benches look like they're from Ikea. I'm trying to make them look a little bit different, a little bit more built into the kitchen. So I'm gonna be painting them the same color as the cabinets. I ended up trying to kind of color match the cabinets and I'm going with the color antique white. It's a nice kind of creamy warm white and I think it's really gonna tie together the kitchen having that color over there as well. It will also go better with this painted door. If you're ever painting Ikea furniture, definitely use a good quality primer first. I'm using the Zinzer Bullseye 123 primer. It's super sticky and you can just put it on with a foam roller. I'm using the Bear Marquee flat paint and flat paint is usually cheaper. It also adheres better to shiny smooth surfaces and we're gonna be doing a top coat anyway, so this should work really well. Now that I have two coats of the antique white paint on, I'm gonna top it off with the polycrylic. This is a clear satin finish and it's gonna give this bench that durability. I'll be able to wipe it clean and it kind of gives a slight shine. Now I really wanted to do a long cushion all the way across and have this kind of custom upholstered look, but that was looking like it was gonna take a while, it was gonna add up in price, and I thought the easier, more affordable way of doing it was actually getting individual seat cushions. So I found these from Ikea, I think they're brand new there. They're a 14 by 14 seat cushion, there's no kind of ribbons or ties on the back, so it's very simple, and it has this nice kind of grippy material on the back, so it won't slide around. These are the perfect color, and it just so happens that five of these seat cushions equals the exact length of this bench. We do have this extra gap at the back, but that works perfectly for me so I can put pillows back here and everything will stay in place. Now before I bring anything else in, I'm going to ground this whole space here with an area rug. It has all the right colors in here. I can see the countertop colors, our accent wall color, this light ivory base is perfect for the kitchen. And the size is great in here. This is a five by eight rug. I found it at Target and it was such a great price. Now, as I mentioned, I wanna bring the warmth of this countertop into this area of the kitchen. So I'm gonna be bringing in a warm round table that's gonna work perfectly with our butcher block.
Now we have this kind of honey warm color in the kitchen and we continued it into the breakfast nook and now the room completely flows so much better. And switching the shape of the table to a circle was for sure the best decision because now no one's facing directly to the wall. You get this more open angled feel which makes it feel very welcoming. To finish off the bench seating, I'm gonna be adding some pillows up the back to add some support, comfort, and style. I'm headed out to Home Goods to check out what we can find. I'm looking for different greens, tans, different colors and textures so that it can really pull the whole kitchen together. This bench turned out to be exactly what I was looking for. You can sit up and eat or relax and sit back and these pillows make for such a cozy space. Now, right above, I wanna do one solid piece of artwork. And this art piece that I chose incorporates all the colors. It kind of mirrors what you see on the other side of the kitchen with the view. So I think it's gonna be the perfect piece. If you find hanging artwork around your home difficult, you definitely need to try this hack. I lay down a piece of painter's tape to be the length of my art piece, mark where I need to put my nails, and you can use that tape up on the wall. You can make sure it's level and have your nails put in exactly where they need to be. I'm gonna be hanging two wall sconces to help frame out this area. That's gonna provide soft light on either side and really create a nice glow to this room. Now, I'm not gonna be hardwiring them into the wall. We're gonna be doing a little lighting hack using puck lights. And these are battery powered puck lights. They have cool light, warm light, daylight. So there's lots of options here. I'm just gonna be hanging my light fixtures that I found on Amazon and putting the puck light inside. That way I can turn them on and off using the remote control. And it's a super easy hack to get around hardwiring your lighting. All right, so today's the final day of this makeover and I'm so excited to finish it off and show you guys what the space looks like. It's turning out to be exactly what I imagined, so I'm very happy. We're gonna be finishing the space off with some decorative touches and one last dramatic change, which is taking down these vertical blinds. If you know me, you know I don't love vertical blinds. Ever since we moved in here, I knew we were taking them all down. I don't think they're adding any beauty to the space. I really think it's taking away the beauty of the space and they're not very functional in my opinion. The panels fall down. They're just not fun to deal with. So we're gonna be replacing them with some light filtering curtains. It's really gonna soften up the space and give off that cozy feeling that I'm going after. When I took off the old brackets, I needed to patch some of these small holes, so I always use this 3M small hole repair. It makes it so easy to get the job done. Now instead of just hanging my curtain rod from one end of the door to the other, I'm gonna extend it all the way to the corner so I can fill this corner with fabric. I think it's gonna make the room look bigger, it's gonna make the door look wider, and I think it's gonna be extra pretty. I'm hanging my curtains up using my curtain rings I got at Ikea. These just elevate the look of your curtains. They make it easier to slide open and close and they add an extra two or three inches to the ends. Okay, I still have to steam them, but look at the difference that made. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. Moving the bracket all the way to the corner makes this room feel so big, makes the door feel bigger. You don't have that awkward corner anymore. And these curtains just totally soften the space. I absolutely love it. The black rod and rings match so well with the new light fixture and all of our appliances. This is just helping tie it all together even further.
Okay, all the finishing touches are in and I cannot wait to show you guys what this space looks like now. It looks like a different room, it feels like a different room, and it finally feels right with the kitchen. This space used to be somewhere where we didn't spend any time at all. It was boring, it was plain, it was lacking personality and color. It was pretty much lacking everything. So my goal was to make this space accent the kitchen nicely and balance out the room. I wanted it to be cozy, inviting, and comfortable, and I think we totally achieved that. This might be my new favorite room of the house. Let's check out what this new and improved breakfast nook looks like now. Alright, so that's it for today's makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you guys love the way the room turned out just as much as I do. You'll find me here every single day. It is just my dream breakfast nook. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of my new and improved breakfast nook. And if there's anything you would do differently, make sure you guys download Redecor, redesign my breakfast nook in the game, screenshot your design and send it to me over on Instagram and I'll be sharing some of my favorites. Anyways, I hope this video gave you some ideas on how you can decorate your home and how you can create a breakfast nook in your kitchen as well. It doesn't have to be expensive. You can do these little DIY projects and turn your kitchen into your dream breakfast nook. If you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Next up, we're doing the living room makeover, which is straight through there. And oh, I just want to tie together these designs and make this whole house feel so cohesive. It's going to be amazing. So stay tuned for that. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.